Today, the road leads to Chimbalak, a modern ski resort nestled in the shadow of the Tian Sha. From the look of things, we seem to have beaten the crowd. Chimbalak Resort today struggles to live up to its nickname, the Aspen of Kazakhstan. With a cranky old ski lift appropriated from Germany after the Second World War, Chimbalak may not be stealing business from Aspen, Vail, or San Moritz, but no ski terrain on the planet is more varied or more blessed with powdery snow. And all within sight of Almaty, a city of one million, a resort like this in the United States would have 45-minute lift lines, and we have it all to ourselves. Unfortunately, short lift lines don't do us much good when the lifts aren't running. Much of the original lift equipment lies in ruins, rusting in the snow at the bottom of the slope. Among the wreckage, we meet our guides, three skiing buddies whom we dub the Flying Sergeys, also Igor Vaskov, man with a passion for skiing who composes poetry during his weekly 15-kilometer walk to Chimbalak. As for the skiers, walking is also the only mode of transport left to them. To get to the unskied faces and bowls of the Tian Shan, we're going to have to get there under our own power. When the lifts aren't running, you make your own fun, but sidestepping the hill is only worth enduring for a very good reason. Through our labors, we build a foundation. On cooperation and sweat, we build a friendship. On overconfidence and ill-founded bravado, we build a jump. They don't call them the Flying Sergeys for nothing. Things got ugly early, and what we witnessed was a total breakdown of any sort of rational adult restraint. Those guys were going off those jumps like, uh, just having a blast. Following us off these jumps, wiping, double ejecting, and getting up and laughing, and taking their shirts off and rolling in the snow. These guys were nuts. In Kazakhstan, the celebration can require every bit as much courage as the leap. The Cossacks won't unstrap the boards until darkness covers the mountain. For us, it's been a long trip already. While our hosts make their last turns, we retreat to the lodge where we seem to be the only ones in residence. We traveled halfway around the globe for the promise of sun shining on unridden slopes in a foreign land. Tonight's forecast predicts a foot of new snow by morning. We settle in, anticipating a day adorned by new powder. <laughs> 